Australia hasn't got a long history of conducting large-scale cohort studies. Can you just briefly describe the 45 and up study for us? Well, the 45 and up study is a large-scale cohort study that recruited around 267,000 people in New South Wales. And that actually amounts to around 10% of the New South Wales population aged 45 and over having completed a questionnaire for the study. They also gave us permission for long-term linkage of their data to health records and also to deaths, cancer registrations, a whole range of different data sets so that we can follow their health over time. We also send them out repeat questionnaires to look at how they're faring. Can you summarise for us the main lessons that you've been able to extract from the study? Well, I think the one that's of most relevance to heart disease really is the big findings about smoking and premature mortality. So we followed around 200,000 people in the study over a four year period and we compared the death rates in the people who were smoking compared to people who had never smoked. And what we found was that the smokers were three times more likely to die during that follow up period. And that really means that up to two thirds of all current smokers will die of smoking related diseases. So this is um, new information because in the past we've been told that 50% um, of smokers will die prematurely from their smoking, but now two thirds. That's right. So what we're really seeing is the evolution of the smoking epidemic. And this is information that's of direct relevance to Australia. It's the first large scale data that we've had from our community about our particular epidemic. And what it says is that things were worse than previously thought. That around two thirds of smokers are likely to die from their habit. There's around a 10 year drop in average life expectancy from smokers. And that means that, for example, 45% of smokers will be dead by the age of 75 compared to 19% of men who have never smoked. So I guess you're saying that um, smoking is an even bigger threat than we've been told in the past. That's right, Morris. So in a sense, it's um, bad news because smoking is much worse than previously thought, but in a way it's good news because it also means that the benefits of quitting are greater. So we, what we also saw is that for people who'd quit by the age of 45, they really avoided a lot of the, of the risks related to smoking in terms of um, dying prematurely. Now that's not to say that people should absolutely puff their heart out until they get to 45 and then stop, because actually the main uh, data also show that the earlier you quit, the better. But what it does say is that you really should um, consider quitting and that the benefits of quitting are very large. So this important information uh, needs to get out to the community. Who are the main target audiences? Well, this is information that's of relevance really across the community because there are very few people whose lives are not touched by smoking in one way or another. So it's important information for the general public. It's also really important for policy makers and for um, government in general because they're the ones really spearheading a lot of the tobacco control, also the non-government organisations. So we've really tried to have um, a campaign of, of pushing the information out into lots of different arenas. What I found really interesting is that when I do talk about this information, most people go, well, we know smoking's bad for you. It says it on the packet. Mm. And really we have to impress on people that this is actually worse than we thought. And that actually has meaning to people. So instead of it being like tossing a coin, you know, 50-50 chance that you're gonna die from smoking, it's now saying it's two thirds. So really if one person quits smoking, the chances are you've saved a life. And if you support someone to quit smoking, the chances are you've saved a life by doing that. So it could become a new health warning on our plain packaged cigarettes? Well, it could. I mean, it's been very interesting because um, it has really started to find its way into a lot of the information that people have about smoking because it really tips that balance of probabilities. It says you're unlikely to get away with it.